Good morning to those who listen. It's July 7th, 2023. Um, what is it? 11.42 a.m. This is a my new uh, air purifier. <clears throat> uh, so I got this. It was on, I didn't get it until July 5th. And then all the wildfire smoke was pretty, you know, pretty much gone by then. So I don't know how bad the air quality was inside my house when it was happening. But, you know, afterwards, when I finally got this, the air quality in my house is good. So that's good, I guess. So maybe as long as I stayed indoors and had the air conditioning on, I was okay. <clears throat> but I remember every time I opened the, you know, when the, when the smoke was here, Every time I opened the door, just even for a you know a couple seconds, I could feel it. It was like, geez, terrible. But anyway, okay, so here's what the video is really about, though. I watched uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. And I'm in the episode, there's, you know, there's some stuff that's, you know, I think there's predictive programming in, in all the episodes. I didn't really, maybe I should go back and do videos on it, but the la the latest episode, episode number four, they were going back to Rigel 7, and uh, I guess they well, they had a they had a, a confrontation, and then they, they had to leave, they, they wound up going to the planet, and then they kind of interfered with the Prime Directive, they weren't supposed to show themselves and, and introduce new technology, but something happened, they got into some kind of a fight, and then uh, they had to leave, and one of the crew members was presumed dead, but wasn't, and stayed up there. But anyway, so this this uh, this world ha had a lot of radiation, and this this is weird because you know we've been hearing about the radiation coming off the sun and everything. But anyway, I think it kind of relates to stuff. So they they're investigating this. Binary system, which I thought, oh, hmm. binary system, it had two moons. I mean, it looked like two planets, but two moons. And the radiation was so bad that everybody on the planet, except for they had this one palace, this big giant palace where it was protected from the, from the radiation. But everybody else on the planet, they got radiation. They wound up uh, getting ringing in their ears, uh, tin tin. I can't pronounce it, tinnitus, tin, and then they'd get headaches, and then they'd have memory loss, and they would forget pretty much everything. They'd forget who they are, all this, everything. <clears throat> it was that bad. And only, like, deep-seated memories could they even, but even the deep-seated memories, they, they would just know little things, they couldn't remember everything. And then they would also become violent, too. So it's very strange, you know, what, is if, what if they're like showing, you know, what could happen here if, say, we got a lot of bad solar weather, <clears throat> a lot of radiation from the sun, and, you know, could be caused by Planet X being close. Uh, Mike from around the world was on last night, and he says that soon, very, very soon, maybe within two weeks, I don't know why he threw that out there, because afterwards he said it could be, you know, later, but he thinks that it's probably sooner than later. It could be, you know, months away. But soon there uh, will be lots of sightings of Planet X and lots of people getting pictures. And then he says after we start seeing it, it'll be there all the time and everyone will see it every day. Or every night, I don't know. But it's weird. So maybe something's going on. And now we just saw that huge sunspot on the sun. And, you know, Mike from around the world's already said that uh, if, you know, Planet X system was, you know, getting closer to Earth, it would affect all the planets and it would affect the sun. He said that the... Let's see if I can find it. Go back. He said... Uh, yeah, he's a Planet X could be seen at any moment, but uh, uh, where is it at? Oh, um, saying that the sun's temperature could double. Uh, 
there, there's already certain highways that they started building in 2022. It's built to withstand 2,000 degrees. Also saying possible power failure by the end of the year. <clears throat> and of course, you know, if the sun, uh, if a sun uh, spot produced a large flare, like a, a large X-class flare, it could knock out power, communications, internet, all that stuff. So I just thought I would say something about that. I just thought it was weird that Star Trek was talking about that right at the same time. The same day, even. Same day, you know, that Mike from around the world was talking about binary systems and <clears throat> and the radiation levels. And in the past, he says that when, when uh, all the solar weather and stuff happens, people will start losing their minds. And they'll get headaches and ringing in their ears and all that. It's like the same stuff that was in this episode of Star Trek. So I think it's predictive programming. So if you start getting loud ringing in your ears, that's that's what the symptom was on the Star Trek. Loud ringing in your ears and then a headache. Headache, some people got migraines. And then they started forgetting stuff. I don't know if that's going to happen, but just... Throwing it out there. You got a lot of stuff going on. We got more Canadian wildfire smoke that's supposed to be coming south again next week. <clears throat> In the next few days, there's the Saharan dust cloud is coming through. And it's supposed to be like in the, the Gulf, the Gulf states and on the eastern side of the United States. Florida is the main impact they said by Sunday, the pretty much the whole state's going to be seeing some of this Saharan dust. So if you live in Florida, get ready for that. And also on the you know the the Gulf Coast states, you know Alabama, Texas, Louisiana. So you might see some some dust from from Africa in your states too. Probably just the southern parts of the states, but still. We got a lot of crap in the air, a lot of unclean air, a lot of bad breathing for a lot of people. So just be aware. All right. I just wanted to give a little quick update on everything. Thanks for watching. God bless.